Welcome to Cooking in the Kitchen with Sonny. This is episode number three, Three Stripes for the Bean. Coming to you from Studio 28 in Boston. Um, today we're gonna make South Dakota meatloaf. I got the recipe from this recipe book I bought. And we're also gonna make garlic mashed potatoes. Everything from scratch, everything from no boxes. The first episode was Spanish rice in the box. Now everything is from the scratch. Got the potatoes in the bag, meat, everything. I even slaughtered the cow myself. No, I'm just joking. Uh, but everything's fresh, so just stay tuned. I'll bring you the ingredients in just a second. And then we're gonna get started, all right? So stay with me. All right, here's the ingredients for today's dish for the meatloaf. We have salt, which we used about one teaspoon. We have the sage, we used a half a teaspoon. Then we also have pepper, where we used one eighth of a teaspoon. Over here, we have your average instant oatmeal, just a regular old brand. It's about three fourths cup. We have about a one fourth cup chopped onions. Um, about a pound and a half of beef. In this bowl, this weird looking concoction and liquid is one egg. It's also one third cup of evaporated milk. And it is also two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce just stirred up. So now what we're gonna do is, is put all of this stuff in that bowl to be mixed up, all right? Once you got the stuff in the bowl, you just basically just throw your hamburger in, crumble it up a little bit, so that way the mixture gets all around evenly, and you want to mix it very well. So, after you finish mixing it up, you want to get about an 8 inch by 4 inch, 2 inch deep pan, and you just take your hamburger mixture and you want to pack it in there nice and good. The recipe doesn't really say how much you should put, but y'all know me, and y'all know how greedy I am. So we're gonna go a little tighter than normal. So, all right, fill it right in there. I got some extra hamburger. Bang, bang, bang. All right, so then you're just gonna take this. You preheat the oven for 350. Once it's done heating, just stick it in the oven, close it, and then basically what you want to do is let the oven sit for about an hour and 20 minutes. So halfway in between there, you want to start your Yukon Gold mashed potatoes. So we're going to let this cook for about maybe 45 minutes, and then I'll come back and bring you how to make the um, mashed potatoes from scratch. All right, people, this is cooking with Sonny 3. Right, so right about now, the, the meatloaf is going to cook for about 45 minutes. So now we're going to start the garlic Yukon Gold mashed potatoes from scratch. So right here in this pot, I have uh, three pounds of potatoes chopped in about quarters and a few cloves of garlic thrown in. We'll let this boil. Once it comes to a boil, they get really soft and tender. Then we'll take it off and then we'll add all the ingredients to make the actual mashed potatoes. So we'll be back in a second. Right, welcome stay. back, welcome back. We're about to make this garlic mashed potatoes right here. The meatloaf is done. We'll just hit that in just a second. So what you're gonna need here is now is about a half a cup of half and half cream. You pour that in, about a pinch of garlic powder, and a pinch of salt, and if you're like me, you like a little spicy, so you throw in about a pinch of salt of that, and then you just want to basically start mixing, get it really good mix going so you get all that cream in there with the potatoes or if you want you can get a whisker the phone lines are ringing off the hook they want these plates like crazy right now so that's done all right we'll get this off the stove bada bing bada boom it's time for the meatloaf. The meatloaf now has cooked for about an hour and 20 minutes. I drained out the juices and you just want to take a little bit of ketchup and drizzle over the top of your meatloaf like so. If you're a ketchup person then you'll put a lot. If not then you know. I like a lot of ketchup. Alright. So this isn't sanitary at all using the same fork. But you know in Kitchen 208 we keep it kind of hood. 
And it's only gonna be me eating this tonight, so we ain't gotta worry about that. Just put a little bit more ketchup on here. Cover this bad boy. All right, good. We'll stick it back in the oven. So you now you want to stick it back in the oven for about maybe, hmm, let's say about 10 more minutes so that the ketchup hardens. And then once after that, we'll plate everything and then we'll be good to go. All right, so stay tuned. It's Cooking with Sarni Part 3, Meatloaf and Mash. All right, y'all, so the food is done. Got the, the juicy looking meatloaf here with the garlic, Yukon, mashed potatoes, no gravy, going healthy. And that's how it looked plated. So I'm gonna have my father come in here, he's gonna taste the food, and I'll let you guys know what he thinks, all right? All right, so I got my pops in the kitchen. Pops, say what up to the world right there. Hello, how you doing, world? He's tasting this food right here that his son put together. Let's survive this. I'm taking that's good, because he's still eating. This is your boy cooking with Sonny. Um, this is part three in Studio 208. Next time I'll bring you something even more healthier than this uh, meatloaf I made with gravy. No gravy and mashed potatoes. Yeah, I messed up. The phones are ringing. The people are calling in. My pops is still grubbing. Thank so you, thank you very much it. for coming out this evening. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You fuck too kind. Hold your applause. This is your song, not mine.